Hey guys, this is Pastor Ryan Johnson at the Covering Revival Center in Greensboro, North Carolina. And I'm here a part of the Impartation Series with Brother Jamal Davis. And I want to encourage you in this short video about not giving up when God gives you a word of promise. In my own personal life, we went through a season of wilderness. There were some things that had happened and it had caused my family and I to go through a period of wandering and, and traveling through a wilderness. And a lot of times when we think of wilderness, we think of something bad because we think of the children of Israel. But Jesus himself was sent into the wilderness so that when he came out, he was filled with power. So this is the kind of wilderness experience I want to talk about just for a moment. But in that season, there came a point in my life where I had almost just given up. And in October of 2014, I was with some good friends, and, and in particular, one of those men, they spoke some words into my life, and they said, Ryan, when you're driving to your next destination, the Lord's going to speak to you and give you a word. And I want to share that word with you just for a moment, because what the Lord began to speak to me in that drive was, he began to ask where Jesus was now in positioning. And I began to think and I began to respond to the Lord and I said, you know, he's, he's, at the high, he's the high priest seated at the right hand of the Father, interceding for me and for everyone else on a daily basis. And the Lord began to ask me questions. And he said, how long was he on the earth establishing his ministry and his purpose? And I said, three to three and a half years. And yet he's been a high priest for nearly 2,000 years. And the Lord said, it was more important for him to be in a position as a high priest than for him to continue to be on the earth establishing and teaching and ministering. That's what he left the sons and daughters for. And as I began to think about that, the Lord then directed me to John chapter 20. And listen to this one verse. John chapter 20 verse 1 says, Now on the first day of the week, Mary Magdalene went to the tomb early while it was still dark and saw that the stone had been taken away from the tomb. And the Lord began to speak to me and said, there was a time that you were in the season of the first day when everybody that you were close to had come against you, it seemed. It seemed when those that were even close to you, you couldn't find them, you couldn't see them. And so many people had come against you and things were going against you, nothing was going right. And then there was a moment where you shifted into the season of a second day. And in the second day, it was dark, and no one was around. You were all alone. Those that were uh, against you, those that were for you, it's like you just couldn't find them anymore because you were alone in that second day season. And the Lord spoke to me, and he said, Ryan, I've got you in your third day season. I'm about to take you from where you've been to where I need you to be in the greatest position where I can do the most out of you. And he took me back to this verse, and this verse specifically says that while it was still dark, Jesus had went from the tomb into the life. And I instantly knew that the Lord had spoke to me, and he said, Ryan, even though it seems like it's dark, and even though it seems like you're all alone, I'm repositioning you for a third day resurrection in your life. And I'm going to have you at the place where I need you to be the most effective. And it's coming while it's still dark. And it's coming when you least expect it. So let me encourage you with this. When the Lord gives you a word of promise, just like he did with myself, I had almost given up. But there came that moment while it was still dark and it seemed like there was no hope. I got that third day resurrection in my own life. And we were repositioned for a greater opportunity, a greater outpouring, that we can be effective for awakening and revival. So let me be an example unto you. When God gives you a word of promise, don't give up. Keep plowing, keep cultivating, keep pressing through. While it's still dark, His promises are true. And when you least expect it, He'll pull you from where you're at and send you to where you need to go. Be blessed in the name of Jesus and keep pursuing.